So several weeks ago, I had a customer passing through the area and we got on the discussion of build quality. Example, he made the comment that all fiberglass campers are constructed of an aluminum structure. And at the time, unfortunately, I didn't have anything to show him to argue the fact that that's not necessarily the case. But this is gonna be the brand new 2023 Forest River Wildwood Platinum Edition. This is a fiberglass camper. However, the wooden structure is still gonna carry over from that metal sided camper to what you guys are seeing right now. This is gonna be a model number 26 RBS X. X, of course, standing for platinum. Sleeping room possibly for three or four. You've got a heated underbelly, two air conditioners, outside kitchen, and just several other really great features. But you're not gonna have the aluminum structure that's found on some fiberglass campers. So let's take a look at some of the numbers to be exact before we dive too much into the vehicle. So as it currently sits from tip to tip, you are at 30 feet, four inches long. It's got a dry weight minus the battery and the propane tanks being filled of 6,984 pounds. You're riding on two twin 4,400 pound axles with a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,632. So with those numbers in consideration, you're gonna have right at 950 pounds of hitch weight. Now, think about something, and I get this a lot when customers bring their campers in for service. We'll find these front pass-through compartments slap full of different types of tools. So be mindful of what you're storing in your compartment and adjusting this hitch weight, cross-loading your, your camper accordingly. So now let's talk about the way this camper is constructed. It is gonna have a fiberglass finish, but your main sidewalls are constructed of a two by two construction. Those two by twos are gonna be placed 16 inches on center. You've got a five eighths tonguing groove plywood floor with a three eighths decking roof. That is a fully walkable roof this year. And Wildwood Platinum Edition is giving you the solar panel already pre-installed. Plus this is a smart charger. Its main job is to monitor the charge coming from the solar panel, keeping the house battery from either being undercharged or overcharged. And while we are here, look at the construction of the bed. If it was a fiberglass model, typically that construction right there would be like an all aluminum frame. So this camper is gonna be 96 inches wide. That's the main box. 11 feet, three inches tall. It is gonna be stabilized from two sets of these electric scissor jacks. They're only gonna go down until they feel about, I think 10 pounds, maybe 12 pounds of pressure, and then they just cut completely off. Do not get confused. These are not designed to level your camper, just to stabilize. Slide mechanism is a rack and pinion slide, and there's a shot of your two twin axles. Fully heated and enclosed underbelly. There are, these are these new four by eight removable sheets under there also. So that makes maintenance work a lot easier. You do have some tin on the windows. These are just picture windows, not gonna be breeze. Your breeze windows are on the end of the slide here. Coming around to the back. A simple upgrade I wish the manufacturer would do is eliminate these halogen lights. And go ahead and replace those with LEDs. No ladder. Somebody's got to do slide maintenance. And I wish the manufacturer would just go ahead and include it and just eliminate this bracket. Go ahead and install the ladder so we can keep these slides maintained. Speaking of slides, it already is already pre-equipped with those mechanisms for slide toppers if you decided to add it. We can add those here at Camper Kingdom if you decide to do that upgrade. Sewer connections, you've got one with two gray handles. That's there on the left. Those gray handles are for the sink and shower. And the black handle there on the right, that is to control the toilet. This four by four tube of the bumper, if you don't know, is a great place for your sewer lines once you're finished back here on the back. 50 amp power connection, you'll be provided with about a 20 foot power cord. This is your satellite hookup, plus your gray water and black tank flush let's come around to the main campsite 
So you've got a 20 foot awning. And so the floor plan all together here, let's talk this. King bed in the front, living area in the middle with a really big bathroom. Outdoor camp kitchen, outdoor speakers. That's what those speakers are, there they are, right there. Television connections, TV backer. So this is something we get here at the dealership a lot where people have attempted to place these and they'll put them in the wrong place. Not always, this sticker does not always mean that is the right place. Let the technician find the proper stud to mount that. You got a six gallon gas or electric water heater, 30,000 BTU furnace, and this is your hot griddle, suburban grill, excuse me, ever chill my ever chill refrigerator my goodness i just had lunch and my stomach is not agreeing with me right now step above steps these do flip it inside the door when you're in transit door does have a friction hinge on it also prevents it from swinging back causing damage to the side of your camper and i hope you guys can see those white led lights up there so this is the new platinum edition model number 26 rbs let's go ahead and come inside here inside the new 2023 Platinum Edition, the color theme is going to be called Capri, which brings over with it a lot more tan and a lot more gray, but that's okay compared to last year's darker colors. The floor plan provides you with a sleeping room, possibly for three individuals, but again, that all depends on the size of your guest who would be sleeping on this universal dinette. The entire slide over here can be arranged to about three different arrangements. I'll do my best to arrange it to all three as we move around the video. Your window treatments are trimmed out with a gray roller shade. Some of them do in fact have a valance in here in the slide. Your breeze windows are gonna be the ones on the side. These over here are just picture windows. But this is gonna be arrangement number one, which I call the L-shaped, which gives you the option to possibly kick your feet up and watch TV, which could be mounted up there in that pre-trimmed out area. You can maybe mount upwards of about maybe a 48 to 50 inch TV up there. And one other cool thing that they've done is this opens now where you can maybe have storage for a gaming console, a DVD player, books, and other wires or accessories. Keeps everything nicely tucked up out of the way. You're going to have an all electric fireplace. This does produce right at 5,000 BTUs of heat. It's kind of got like a mirror accent to it. Let me close this up here. And down below that's called a shoe garage good little place maybe to kick your shoes off at the end of the day Furion sound bar located over here coming around to your kitchen area upgraded backsplash that's changed this year your countertops are still going to be the same what i call a pressed membrane countertop this is a seam free which prevents any water if it was to make contact with this causing it to swell 50 50 undermount sink high-rise faucet let's take a look at your oven standard size graystone oven maybe room for a smaller casserole dish or a pan of biscuits here I like the blue accent behind the knobs three different burners and just like every RV oven you have the glass top to maybe extend some of your prepping range your pullouts are gonna be over here each one of these will pull out to about 18 inches in depth there's three of them down straight down your storage space up here kind of a smoke tent it is a plastic material that is not glass your microwave is about 30 inches across pretty much a standard size same with the hood vent too but low profile so you could get maybe larger pots and pans there the fridge is an ever chill 12 volt refrigerator and of course this does work off the vehicle power while you're in transit no need to really monitor the battery either since you have the solar on board which will also assist with keeping this cool if you're not plugged into vehicle power maybe if you were to stop over at a rest station while you're in transit that solar will possibly keep that fridge nice and cool for you not just one but two total pantries on board one over there and the other one's gonna be right over here next to your fireplace. So lots of additional storage throughout the new Platinum Edition. This is gonna be arrangement number two, which gives you your bifold sofa, plus the bigger U-shaped booth. And just notice how the back has moved from one side to the other. The third arrangement will be laying this all completely flat, providing you with a sleeping room for two more additional individuals. Let's come up to the bedroom area first before we go over the bath pocket style doors 
really, really wide. That's really nice. I'm a wider guy. I hate to say it, but I am. And the wider pocket style doors are very nice. This is going to be a custom king size bed. And I say custom because the corners have been cut off. This is your standard size fitted sheet. So you can get an idea there. If you were maybe to upgrade to a residential king, what you'd be looking at. But the manufacturer has removed the corners to allow for more walking room. You do, do, you do in fact have two hanging style closets which are CPAP friendly or maybe just cell phone charger friendly with USB chargers and 110 outlets provided. Some additional storage with that same plastic tent there. Your second air conditioner is a 13.5. Roof mounted control knobs. It's just going to cool this area here. Let's come around and look at your second closet. So you got a closet on both sides of the bed plus this additional floor to ceiling closet also for all that additional storage space. Look at the room at the foot of the bed. So the bed does raise up. It's on a hydraulic cyst, giving you access to all that additional storage space found under the bed plus the cool little totes. We're going to go ahead and head to the back of the coach, but if you like what you've seen so far, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. All of your interactions with the video, they always do help. Even leave me a comment telling me what you think, whether it's good or bad. I promise you, I only feed upon your feedback. One thing I'd like to point out, though, about a rear bath travel trailer is changing room. Typically, customers seem to overlook that a lot when they're trying to determine the perfect floor plan. Well, just keep that in mind. If you're in a couple's coach and you have guests over, will you have changing room in your bathroom? So keep that in mind whenever you're searching for maybe that perfect layout. Ceiling height in the bathroom is six foot eight. You've got about six foot one, maybe six foot two once you're inside of this two-piece plastic shower. Dimensions of about 32 by 27, but overall, I'm a rather big gentleman and I've gotten there myself. There's plenty of room to move out. Plus you also have the additional skylight for additional headroom. We've got a plastic foot flush toilet. Bathroom vanity is large for this size travel trailer. Lots of additional counter space and the linen closet is very decent as well. At day and time of making this video, MSRP of $51,675. At date and time of making the video though, be sure to take the link found down in the description, which takes you back to my website where you can view more additional photos as well. Continue to like and subscribe. Come see us.